and welcome back to <clears throat> another one of Anthony's True or Not Story. 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 This True or Not Story, I talk with my Uncle Joe. Now, a lot of you might know my Uncle Joe because he has a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom does my Uncle Joe have. But in this story, sadly, he's not showing wisdom, but hardly. It started when I went down to my aunt's house and I saw my Uncle Joe. And he was sitting down, and he looked really distressed, you know, and distressed. And I went up to Uncle Joe, and I said, hey, Uncle, you look distressed. He said, oh, you know what, nephew? I am. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm distressed. I'm, you know. And I was like, what, what, what's going on, Uncle? He's like, ah, oh, the world. The world's going, it's going to hell in a handbasket. That's what it is, Uncle. Nephew. And I was like, well, what do you, what do you mean, Uncle? He's like, as well, I started the other day, um, when I was walking, because I like to walk, you know, as one does, and I was walking, and I remember I stopped at a, at a light, you know, because I had to cross the street, and I had to stop, you know, for the light, and in the corner of my eye, I remember seeing a car, and all of a sudden, I, I hear my name, say, hey, hey, Joe, Joe, and I was like, huh, that's weird, I don't, I don't remember any cops, you know, knowing any cops, but when I looked, I saw my friend there at the back of the cop car. Uh, good old Carl. I saw Carl in the back car, and I was like, Carl, why are you in the back of the police car? And Carl said, oh, I'm going to the movies. I said, Carl, are you going to the movies? It looks like you're going to jail to me. He goes, no, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to the movies. Uh, um, you know, I decided to take an Uber. And I was like, Carl, are you high? Because you're in the back of the police car, not an Uber. He said, no, 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 he is my Uber driver. And then he pointed to, you know, in front of the windshield, and I looked. Sure enough, cop car had a, a Uber sticker on it, you know, right next to it, a lift sticker. And I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. And uh, standing, sitting next to the car was a, a lady. Uh, a lady, she had a lot of makeup on, and she, her hair was all messed up and everything, but I wasn't going to say anything. You know, maybe that's, you know, Carl's type. As so I asked Carl, I was like, well, hey, Carl, uh, who's your lady friend? And he goes, oh, her. Yeah, uh, she's a, a crack whore. And I was like, uh, well, why are you going to movies with a crack whore, Carl? And Carl said, oh, no, 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 no. She's going to jail. I'm going to the movies. I said, wait, what? He goes, yeah, well, I decided to save some money, Carl said, and get a, a, a gr Uber group. And, uh, yeah, she's going to jail. I'm going to the movies. Then the light turned green and Carl left. And I was, I was surprised to say the least. So, uh, you know, and I was like, wow, Uncle, that sounds very hard to believe that a policeman would, you know, do that. I'd be an Uber driver at the same time. He goes, oh, nephew, I want to steer you wrong. Have I ever steered you wrong? And I said, oh, Uncle, I guess not. You know, I go, so that's why you're so distressed. He says, no, 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 no. So he goes, later on that night, uh, I decided to treat myself to go to, uh, you know, a pub, you know, where uh, they serve food and beer because I wanted food and beer. And I told myself I was going to have like a couple of beers. So I go to the pub, you know, I drive because I didn't feel like walking every time, you know, even though I like to walk. So I, I he drove, he said. And then, so he said that he ended up meeting his good friend Nancy there, and Nancy and him started reminiscing about good old times in high school, you know, and one drink led to another, and he got a little too drunk with Nancy, and when it was time to leave, uh, be the law-abiding citizen, citizen that he is, that he is said that uh, he was going to Uber or Lyft home, he said he's really like Uber, so he was going to take a Lyft home, get a Lyft from Lyft. And so he calls Lyft, and, well, he doesn't call him, but, you know, do that whole happy thing. And so he's outside in his car, and he's waiting, and he's waiting, and five minutes, he says, pass. Ten minutes, as he passed through, he goes, he decided, you know what, it's a nice night. And uh, being, you know, being the guy he is, he likes to walk, so he decided, man, it's only a few blocks, so maybe I'll just walk, you know, and come back tomorrow and get my car. So he cancels the, the lift, and he starts walking. And, well, see, it, 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 he said that he's, instead of going all the way down the street to cross the street, he said he just he decided to take a shortcut and cross the street right away. And right when he did, as soon as he stepped on the other side, sure enough, a cop comes and pulls him over. And cop says, hey, 
hey there, buddy, do you know why I pulled you over? And Uncle Joe said, uh, no, officer. He goes, well, you're jaywalking in your regular law, and I need to see your ID. So Uncle Joe's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure thing. And Uncle Joe goes in his back pocket and realizes, oh, jeez, would you believe I left my wallet in the car. And the cop's like, oh, buddy, well, I don't know, how do I know who you are, who you say you are? And Uncle Joe's like, because I'm saying it. And he's like, I, uh, I'm going to have to take you downtown, you know? And then Uncle Joe's like, I don't want to go downtown because that's where the jail is at. And the cop's like, yes, I know. So he gets Uncle Joe and arrests him, throws him in the back of the car, he says. And as they're driving, Uncle Joe's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And the cop's like, what can't you believe? He goes, my poor luck. Here I was, didn't want to break the law. Because, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen and didn't want to break the law, even though I did do the whole jail walking thing. But I didn't want to drive drunk, so I started, you know. But the funny thing is, you know, and the cop's like, what's the funny thing? And he's like, well, I called a lift, and the lift was taking a long time, so I decided to walk. And I got impatient, so I canceled the lift. And, you know, I walked for a couple blocks, and then I crossed the street, and lo and behold, you pull me over. What are the odds? You know, that I still end up getting arrested for breaking the law. And the cop starts laughing and, and he goes, well, you know what, man? Uh, hey there, Joe. Well, I'll tell you what, that it's not a really big coincidence. He goes, I, I'm actually, your, I was your Lyft driver. I was on my way uh, to pick you up, but then you canceled. But then I was like, hey, I'm in this direction. Might as well keep going in this direction. And then I saw a, a, a jailwalker and I pulled him over and it, it was you. Uh, maybe that is a coincidence. And Uncle Joe says, Ah, oh, man, what a luck. What a luck I got. So I was like, Well, Uncle, that's a crazy story. And I'll tell you what, now, that's not even the worst part. I'm like, Well, what's the worst part? He goes, Well, uh, uh, when the cop took me, he, uh, he told me that I better give him f f all the stars and a good tip. Otherwise, he knows, you know, where I live. And, uh, not where I live, but, you know, uh, my surroundings, so I had to give him four stars and, and a ten dollar tip. And I'll tell you what, nephew, the economy's in shit, and the world's going to hell in a handbasket. And I was like, that's really something, Uncle Joe.